Donald Trump's grip on the Republican base appears tighter than ever. At a party summit in Florida, he rubbed salt into Governor Ron DeSantis's wounds, parading a handful of state lawmakers he flipped from DeSantis to join his campaign, while critics of the former president were shouted down. Donald Trump will be found guilty by a jury on a felony offense next year. Trump may be in serious legal trouble facing more than 90 criminal charges, but he is still on pace to become the Republican presidential nominee, meaning it's likely the 2024 vote will be a rematch against Joe Biden. New polling from the New York Times and Siena College suggests Trump is leading Biden in five key swing states, Arizona, Nevada, Georgia, Pennsylvania and Michigan. At times appearing fragile, Biden's age and mental fitness were highlighted as concerns for voters. Wow, nice looking bus. It's partly why one lawmaker is challenging morning, Biden for the morning, Democratic America. nomination. There's nothing that the president can do about his age. He's a human being and a good one. The polling suggests Biden is losing support among black and Hispanic communities and with young voters too. Fresh backlash was also on display at a large pro-Palestinian protest in Washington, where demonstrators are angry with the U.S. position on the Israel-Hamas war. My message to President Biden is, I voted for you and I regret it. But with a year of unpredictable campaigning to go, anxious Democrats are being told to remain focused. You, you've got a choice if you're if you're a Democrat. You can spend your energy being worried and upset and getting an ulcer, or you can use that energy to go out and change things. Katie, one year out from the election, what are we learning about concern in Ottawa about the possibility of, of Trump returning to the White House? Sources tell me there is worry about what it could mean for the Canada-U.S. relationship. I'm told the thinking is Trump will surround himself with staff who directly follow his orders. During his last administration, there were people who would slow things down and try to steer him away from some of his instincts. That was crucial in saving NAFTA. Remember, he wanted to rip that trade deal up. There are, of course, broader concerns about how U.S. leadership might change on the world stage. And then, at a basic level, it would be a return to diplomacy. Diplomacy by flattery. Ian. Katie Simpson in Washington.